Yeah. It's good for Sonny, right? Easy come, easy go, right? I'm That's not right. giving you the brush off. Well, you could have fooled me. But that's okay, you know, if, if you want people to run your life, that's fine. No, I don't. You're giving me mixed signals here. No, I'm not. Listen. I'm trying to explain to you here that I don't want to upset Lila. And this will make her feel better. So the next time we see each other, she just won't have to know. I can live with that. Good. Uh, Sonny, the Cordomay Mansion is the other way. Yeah, relax. I'm just going to take the scenic route. <laughs> what, beautiful downtown Port Charles? Yeah, well, you know, the Cordomay Dane can call all the shots up in the hill, but this is where I'm king. Why don't you move a little closer? Residence. Ms. Barrett. Mr. Corinthos. I've got some clam sauce defrosting with your name written all over. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a compliment? Well, you did promise me a rain check once upon a time. Yes, but you just cooked me dinner last week. Yeah, but that was cans. That wasn't cooking. There's a difference. A Corinthos in the kitchen is poetry in motion. I think you actually believe that. Absolutely. When? Tonight. Mm. You know, I'm going to have to think about it because I don't really like this last minute kind of thing. Well, I, I promise I won't make a habit out of it. I will pick you up at uh, 7. No. I'll uh, drive myself. Should I bring this here? No, just uh, you. <laughs> Bye. My life is basically over, and I had nowhere else to turn. You okay? I really want to see Stone tonight. You do? Well, he asked me out. When did this happen? Yesterday. He came over? He called? What? Well, he came over, and then we went to the park for a little while. I want the details right now. <laughs> he kissed me. He kissed you? <laughs> Are you kidding? For real. It was incredible. It was the most... What? I don't know. What? It, it was incredible. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Are you... I mean, I wasn't sure when you told me to watch myself. Oh, right. Listen, I just... I don't want you falling for someone who doesn't appreciate you. As long as he does. So what do you think it means? That he kissed you? Wild guess? I don't know. If he likes me, how, how do you feel about him? He is so cute. <laughs> so what's the problem? Oh, Mac. Mac. Right. He's totally unreasonable about Stone. He won't even let me see him. And I want to so much, but I, I can't. Okay, this isn't that complicated. Listen, you tell Mac you're having dinner with me. I'll pick you up. We'll go meet Stone. No problem. You mean lie to Mac? Yeah, it's just a little one. I don't know. I'm not such a good liar, especially with my uncle. I get all weird. Okay, so you won't lie to him. You will have dinner with me. What? At Sonny's. 
<laughs> this is a great idea. You mean the four of us? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know Sonny very well. Well, I know him. Listen, this is probably the safest thing that you could do. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Remind me again. How cute is Stan? He's so cute. <laughs> Have you ever noticed his eyes? Yeah. Have you ever seen those eyelashes? I've never seen the eyelashes like that on a guy. Yeah, they're great. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, it's me. We didn't have a change of heart, did we? No, just a little adjustment. How much of that clam sauce did you say you have? Buckets, why? Wouldn't it be fun to have company? You're kidding. No, like a double date. You mean with Edward and Lila? I gave the butler a night off. Yeah, very funny. A couple of friends. You serious? Yes. Well, that's not really what I, you know, had in mind. I know, but we can be flexible, can't we? Well, it depends who. With who? Robin and Stone. It's really important. Come on, we'd be doing them both a big favor. Stone? My stone? Yeah. Your stone. Well, I'm gonna have to find out if, if he's free. You know. Oh, he's free. Trust me. Are you sure you're just not afraid to, uh, be alone with me? Should I be? A double date, huh? Yeah. Come on, just go with the flow. You know, you might have fun. Book it, Dano. Thank you. No, you don't have to thank me now. You'll, you'll pay me eventually. No, I plan on it. Oh, listen, there's just one more thing. What? Try and behave yourself around Robin. She's very impressionable. It's my duty as a host to be beyond reproach. You are so sweet. I know. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Done! <laughs> are you sure you didn't mind? <laughs> are you kidding? The man would do anything for me. Is there, uh, something you're not telling me? I don't know what you mean. Robin Scorpio? What's going on? We are double dating here tonight. Is that a trip or what? <laughs> well, is that okay with you? Well, I got the impression it was the only way she was going to get next to you tonight. If I remember my old days of young love, she is sneaking out with Brenda just so she could see you. Yeah, I figured that her uncle was giving her grief. Robin, wow. I mean, you know, she's cute, of course, and I hardly know her, but uh, she seems kind of straight, right? Very straight. Uh-huh. I don't know a lot of girls like her. She's a nice girl. Wow. Am I right? See, that's, that's trouble. Girls like that will tie your heart in a knot. Mark my words. Okay, let's not make a big deal out of this, okay? It's just a date. I will remind you of those exact words one of these days. Just a date. <laughs> Meanwhile, do you remember where the vacuum cleaner lives? Yeah, it's in the closet. Well, don't tell me. Just get it, because we've got company tonight. We have women coming over here. I cook, you clean. You got right? it, right? You got it. Cornish game hen, my specialty. Really? Mac, I didn't know you were a cook. Well, the uh, reason it's my specialty is because it's the only thing I cook well. 